Welcome and God bless you. I have no message of my own but as received from the Lord. We will be discussing about holiness and heaven. Our focus in this first part is to understand what it means to be holy. And some who are children of God will be preserved in the end time but not make heaven. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, help us to be set apart for you. Having a lifestyle of holiness that hungers and thirsts after righteousness. To do what is right in your sight and pleasing unto you. And give us a heart of understanding and obedience. Thank you in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. Amen. The word holy in the dictionary means to be dedicated or specially set apart for God. So the word holy and being set apart mean the same thing and are interchangeable. Being set apart or holy unto God is a very critical requirement to make heaven or to see God. Here is what the scripture says. Hebrews 12 verse 14 from the End Time Bible, ETB. Verse 14, Eagerly seek peace with everyone. And also pursue a lifestyle of holiness, for without holiness, no one will see the Lord. End of reading. In other words, only those who have set apart themselves or are holy will see God or make heaven. They will stand before God, before His throne in heaven and before the Lamb and celebrate, Revelation 7 verse 9. And verses 13 to 15 further tell us they came out of the Great Tribulation. One of the purposes of the coming Great Tribulation for the Church is for many to be refined. They will become holy or set apart for God, with no more divided loyalty or attention. So the secret for making heaven is to be holy or set apart. For only those who are set apart for God will make heaven. Before we continue, let us understand salvation and its place. Salvation is a free gift from God through His only begotten Son, Yeshua the Messiah. No amount of personal effort or money can buy it. When we accept Yeshua the Messiah, our past sins are all washed away. We receive the right to become sons or daughters of God. We receive righteousness or right standing before God without condemnation. We receive the acceptance from God to be His children. Here is what the scripture says. John 1 verse 12 from the End Time Bible, ETB. Verse 12, But to all who received him, who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. End of reading. So all who are in the Messiah, who have received him, and believe in his name, all have been given the right to become children of God. Every believer is a child of God. But not every believer will make heaven. For every child of God or a believer still has the freedom to choose how he lives. The believer may choose a lifestyle of obedience, dedication, or being set apart or holy, for God. On the other hand, the believer may also choose not to be dedicated or set apart or holy for God. He can choose to live his own preferred lifestyle, the lifestyle of a prodigal son, in sin, contrary to what God desires. The prodigal son, though still the son of his father, but had by his actions, taken himself away from the love of the father, to live a sinful life, Luke 15 verses 11 to 15. And here is what God said about holiness to the Israelites. Leviticus 19 verse 2 from the End Time Bible, ETB. Verse 2, Tell all the community of the children of Israel, and say to them, You are to be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. End of reading. In other words, they were to set themselves apart for God, that is, be holy unto God. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed or compromised his standard or demand. His demands remain the same for those who have received his salvation and have become his children. Here is what the scripture further says. 1 Peter 1 verse 14 from the End Time Bible. Verse 14, Leave as obedient children to God. 
Do not follow the desires of your old carnal nature, like you did when you were ignorant. Verse 15. Instead, be holy in everything you do, just as God who called you is holy. Verse 16. For it is written in the scriptures, Be holy, for I am holy. End of reading. As we said earlier, to be holy is to be set apart or dedicated to God. When you are dedicated, you follow at all times, the footsteps and the desired lifestyle of the one to whom you are dedicated. You hate what he hates, and love what he loves. You only do what pleases him or what he commands. You have in essence become like a slave, totally dedicated and obedient to him. Those who are set apart for God, do not live as disobedient children. They do not live the lifestyle of a prodigal son or daughter, a lifestyle of sin, but are instead fully obedient and set apart for God. The question is, what are you like when no one is watching? Are you holy, set apart for God in your heart, mind, thoughts and actions, all the time, in everything? For Satan's hope, desire or expectation is for the believer to become like a prodigal son. Detached from God and living a lifestyle of sin. And this is why Satan continues to tempt the believer. To make the believer fall and join him, in a lifestyle of sin and disobedience. Satan's hope and actions are designed to keep the person in that state. And never go back to be holy or set apart for God. To not make rapture. The end time is about harvest time for God, the farmer of souls. This will be through rapture, in the end time. The souls are like the crops. They will all be divided into three groups in the end, at harvest time. One group will be the bad crops or tares. They are those who hate anything of God. And they will follow the Antichrist and false prophet, and receive his mark. In the end they will be separated from the rest and be destroyed in the lake of fire, Revelation 19 verses 19 to 21, Revelation 20 verses 12 to 15. There will be a second group, the very good crops, that are fully ripe and ready for the Lord. They will be taken away to heaven in rapture, whether as among the first fruits or among the general rapture of the church, that will follow later, at the end of the great tribulation, 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 15 to 17 and Revelation 7 verses 9 to 15. They will be transformed, to be like the angels. They will have immortality, with bodies that never decay or die again. And there will be the third group, who will not make it, neither among the first fruits, nor among the general rapture of the church. This third group consists of believers, who know the Lord, but are not fully ripe or ready when rapture happens. They are not ready for many reasons. It may be because they harbor unforgiveness, hate, rage, anger, disobedience, pride, arrogance, love for things of the world, or still partially attached to them. Or maybe because of some other habitual sins. In the end time, this third group will be saved from God's wrath. And will not be destroyed by God, along with followers of the Antichrist. But they will not make rapture. They will not be transformed and will not have immortality. They will be left behind on earth. They will remain in human flesh and blood on earth, after rapture. They will be fruitful, multiply on earth and replenish it, during the millennium period. The question is, why is it that this group, who are believers, will not be taken, to heaven? The answer is because they are not completely ripe and ready for rapture. Not completely set apart or holy for God. They are like the prodigal son, who has not yet returned to the father. To be holy or set apart for God is a choice each believer has to make. God does not force anyone to be holy or set apart for him. It is an individual choice. But what God has done is to make available to every believer what they need to be set apart or holy unto God. This is the purpose for God sending his Son to die for us. And also giving the Holy Spirit to be with us, 
to help those who are willing to attain or reach that standard that is acceptable to God. Those believers who are not holy or have not set apart themselves for God will not make rapture or see God. They will remain on earth as flesh and blood. But the overcomers who make rapture will come back with the Lord. As saints in heavenly bodies and reign over those people on earth who will not make rapture. Here is what the scripture says. Revelation 2 verses 26 from the End Time Bible, ETB. Verse 26, And whoever overcomes, and keeps working for me until the end, I will give to that person the power to rule over the nations. End of reading. Those who overcome and make rapture, whether as first fruits or in the main body of the church, will be given power to rule over nations. The nations are the people, human beings, in flesh and blood, on earth. They will be those who are of God, children of God, who do not make rapture, for one reason or another. These people will go through the millennium, as human beings, in flesh and blood on earth. They will continue to be physically fruitful, multiply and replenish the earth. The saints who return with the Lord will be their rulers. They will teach and direct them in the ways of the Lord in righteousness all over the earth, during the millennium reign. Rebellion will not be tolerated. During this time, Satan will be kept in prison for one thousand years. But after that, Satan will be released for a while to try to deceive the whole earth, for the third and final time. Revelation 20 verses 7 and 8. This is when these people will again be tested, to make their choices, to either be completely devoted, set apart or holy unto God or to follow Satan. Just like we initially made our own individual decision to accept the Lord and become children of God. We also make our individual decisions to be holy, being set apart and dedicated to God. To be set apart for God or holy is a choice everyone has to make. During the coming great tribulation, people will choose to be either holy and set apart for the Lord or for the Antichrist. No one can achieve holiness or be set apart for God by their own power or might. It is by the Holy Spirit of God. But when one wholeheartedly makes a choice to be holy or set apart for God, then the Holy Spirit empowers the person to live a life of holiness for God. I want to close with a few scriptural verses for us to ponder on. Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9 Verse 8 For you have been saved by grace through faith. And this is not by the effort of yourselves. Rather, it is the gift of God. Verse 9 It is not through your doing any works of righteousness, so that before God no one would be able to boast. Romans 6 verses 1 and 2. Verse 1, What should we say then? Should we continue to commit sin so that grace may increase? Verse 2, Certainly not. How can we who died, and no longer responsive, to the desires of sin, continue to live any more in it? 1 Corinthians 9 verse 27, But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. This is so that after I have preached to others, I myself would not become rejected. 2 Peter 1 verse 10, Therefore, brothers and sisters, devote more effort to make your call an election by God to be sure. For if you do these things, you will never fall away. Romans 12 verse 1, For this reason, I urge you, brothers and sisters, through the mercies of God, that you set apart your whole being as a living sacrifice holy, acceptable to God. This is the reasonable way to serve him. Verse 2, also do not conform your mind to the behaviours and customs of this world. Instead, be transformed through the renewing of your mind, with the word of God. Then you will prove and recognise the good, acceptable and perfect will of God for you. 1 John 3 verse 8 but whoever goes on sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning right from the beginning. It is for this purpose that the Son of God came, that he would destroy the works of the devil. 
Verse 9, whoever has been born of God does not go on sinning. For the seed of God remains in him. And he cannot go on sinning, because he has been born of God. End of reading. Thank you for your time today. Please remember to forward this message to others. In part 2, we will discuss how to achieve holiness or be set apart for God. All you need to know about the end time are documented in the set of six end time books, as received from the Lord. You can get your copies, as well as the end time Bible, ETB, from either etcdm.com. If you use Amazon, then search using this phrase, End Time ETB Bible. And until next time, God bless you and keep you.